Hello student, this is Rashmi Sinha and I am here again and I am so 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 grateful to all my viewers, students, um, well-wishers, those who liked my video and they are always supporting me and I got so many um, suggestions as well as comments that I should make a video on Scratch. So our today's topic is Scratch. See, this is one of my uh, favorite chapter where I'm going to teach you about uh, what Scratch is and how it functions. Uh, Scratch is a, um, actually a learning programming application, you can say. And this is totally made for entertainment and learning purpose. And special thing about app is this app is that it, this software is very easily uh, make games. So the purpose of this software is making games, which you all are liking a lot. So gaming, you can say it's a gaming application. And uh, the one more thing is how to install. Installation is also very easy that you can easily buy a CD or uh, you can uh, freely download it uh, directly from online and you can install it and you will get one icon of scratch on your desktop by that you can use this so installation is also very easy for this scratch screen this is totally made for entertainment and learning purpose the special and major uh, thing about this software is that we are going to learn how the screen looks how, what type of screen features are, how we can work it. So for this, I'm showing you, showing you the screen. See, you can see the screen. The screen is like this. And the screen has four major parts. The first part of the screen is stage. Stage is the screen's left up corner. This stage allows you to bring a character or a cartoon where th that cartoon will work on this stage. From where you get that cartoon? First, about this stage, the stage has two sides. X side, which is vertical. Y side, which is horizontal. You can move the size of this stage also according to your choice. It can be a broader or you, it can be higher in size. So you can move it. The second part of this screen is sprite list. What is sprite you know? Sprite is a cartoon. You like cartoons, na? So sprite is a cartoon like a mouse or a cat. Or you maybe get any other kind of cartoon. Even you can use your own face as an animation. So you can be become a part of this screen and you can also become a sprite. So this sprite, the cartoon, you will choose from this corner, this list. You can fix this it on stage and then that cartoon will move and will make games and will make functional that cartoon. The third part of this screen is block palette. This is a block palette. You can see this is a little larger. And this is, this actually this is a very, very important area of this uh, sprite screen. It has three types of uh, blocks. The first block for movement of the sprite. The sprite will move on stage by the help of this palette. We call it movement blocks. The second is for looks. Means how your sprite will look. You want to change the color. You want to change the size of that sprite. You want to change that sprite even. You can do that. All is possible. And third is for sound. Suppose um, when you watch animation, what do you uh, get attracted? You like the sound as Sinchen you see. And so many uh, cartoons like uh, Chota Bheem and your favorite ones. Dorimon and all. All the cartoons are, are they working on the screen? Are they acting, talking? They are audible, right? And you can make the same cartoon on this screen. So, movement, looks and sound. Three major blocks we have on this block palette. The last and the most important part is script area. Script area. Script you all know. 
Script means the instruction, the content, what you are seeing. If you wanted to move this sprite on stage, you have to fix any block in script area. Now, what is block? Like you wanted to move it, go ahead. You wanted to tell to take back steps, 10 steps back, 10 steps left, jump, sit. This kind of commands are given written here block in block palettes. You have to um, drag that command and just drop it in a script area. Then this sprite will work on stage. So overall, this is the actually primary learning uh, I have uh, taught you today. And I am going to make more uh, scratch programming uh, um, this videos because this is not enough. But uh, if you will understand this much, you will be very much uh, easily doing the scratch uh, scratch programming in the laboratories and at your home also. So first you learn this much and later I'll make the more videos on it. Thank you for watching me again and please uh, help me by your suggestions, comments and uh, just please do it these things for me. I am always grateful to you. Thank you very much.